before I get into my lures and what I have, I'm going to show you how I sort them and why, pretty much. As you can see here, I got three Flambo boxes. They're the uh, size 5005 series. No, 5007. These are the non waterproof ones. And I'm going to go box by box. Uh, this is my top water box. This is where I keep my buzz baits, my jitterbugs, my frogs, my spooks, poppers, stuff like that. Uh, next box is my spinners and let's see yeah my spinner baits and my jerk baits and jigs since I throw them at the same time of the year next box is my crank baits square bills uh, Lipless, jerk baits, or some more jerk baits, and uh, deep diving, all that stuff. And my last one is my thermal, my hooks, my weights, bob for stoppers, that type of thing. And then right here in this, yes, this is a cat litter box, but. This is where I keep all my plastics. Got about a hundred bags of plastics in here. Okay, we're gonna go through the uh, top water box. As you can see right there, that's most of my top water besides the uh, these are all my working top waters the rest of them are non-working or need the hooks change stuff like that not to say that these ones don't but uh, first row is frogs uh, I don't have any popping frogs yet need to get some of those got some this is the Lunker Hunt uh, frog. The reason why you know that is the, uh, the legs they have. The uh, Booyah Pad Crasher. And then a bunch of these older frogs that I don't really use, but if I need them, you know. Uh, got my poppers, small poppers, this one's supposed to be my bigger poppers, and this is, this is one of my favorite poppers to throw, this is the, uh, always a Bass Pro Shop, one, two dollar top water bait, this is like a perch color, I think. Like throwing that. And last row is uh, spooks, walk baits, pencil poppers, or pencil baits. Yeah, walking baits. And then buzz baits. Which I don't use as much as I'd like to. This is the uh, crankbait box. This is where a lot of my good baits are. That I have the most luck with at least. Uh, top row is 
bigger uh, square bells. Uh, Storm Arashi square five crankbait. Same as the one up here. With lipless cranks. This is the uh, Bass Pro one dollar bait. Uh, this one I like just because it's different. It's uh, Matsu. Uh, forgot the name of it. But as you can see, it's got layered gills on the bait. Just a different presentation. And then these are my larger bass strip baits. The uh, this one I've had the most luck with. The most luck with is the uh, Strike King KVD dirt bait, three hook. Really nice dirt bait. Next big box is my spinner baits and uh, spinner baits, small dirt baits, and pretty much anything with a skirt. Uh, going bigger the small on my spinner baits. These are my half ounce. Both Booyah Colorado blades with trailers. Haven't got to try those ones out yet. Uh, the next, the rest in this row are the uh, $1 Walmart baits. These ones right here are the uh, red and yellow. Absolutely slay in the spring and summer with these where I fish. Got a Colorado blade. Same thing here. This is a white and yellow Colorado blade. And then next to are the red and the red and white widow blade spinner bait. Uh, smaller jerk baits, two hook. These are like three foot or less jerk baits. Husky jerks, suspended. Yozer. Then have a. Have some chatter baits, uh, a brown, brown green pattern, and then a sartreuse with a uh, fluke on the back. 